<sighs> the opening theme they play before this screen is really well animated. Uh, I probably can't include it for copyright reasons, but... Today we're going to be looking at Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. I've never played a game like this on this channel before, and I think it'll be a nice change of pace. Now, I did try recording this earlier today, but the audio tracks got all mixed up, so I'm having to redo this. It's, it's not a huge deal. This means that, uh, for this video at least, my reactions won't be fresh, and it's just because I've played this section before. But I'll do a little more exploring this time and see if I can find something new. Now for the real question. Why am I playing this game in particular? Well, uh, I'm testing the waters. Just trying new things out. I'm trying to pivot into styles of video that are lighter in terms of editing while also being fun and upbeat. As some of you may know, I used to do Mario Maker videos, but that wasn't really a niche that I wanted to stick to. So we're trying new things. That's what today is all about. We'll see how this flies. If you guys enjoy the video, you can let me know in the comments below. But let's get started on Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. This is an adorable game, by the way. I love the art style. It seems like um, whatever he's doing to these things is changing their size. Was that Uncle Naboo flying on a barrel? Something's definitely not right. I better get my stuff and go after him. It's kind of a lukewarm response to your uncle flying around shooting things. Alright, we are set for adventure. So one thing I noticed about this game is that the responsiveness of the controls is unbelievable. It feels like the animation starts before I even press the button. And we got a checkpoint here. Whoa, stay back, dragon. Sorry, Jin, it's me, your little brother. <laughs> Zeke, how did you turn into that? You won't believe it. Uncle Naboo pulled out a magic wand and transformed everyone in the village. Whew, I'm not crazy then. I just saw him flying on a barrel. Yeah, that's him. He's flying on a barrel of royal nectar, probably stole from the king. That can't be good. We need to stop him. Did you see where he went? He's headed toward the lighthouse. I'll catch up with you there, okay? So this is Zeke. Uh, I think he's my character's brother, but I didn't quite... I I'm not sure, because... Did you know you can attack while ducking? Hold the left thumbstick down and press X to attack tiny enemies. Excellent. Got some crouch action going on here. Is there a secret over here? Oh! There is! Oh yeah! Okay.
Looks like there's ground pounding as well. I love the animation style of this game. The graphics are just really cute. Oh, but we have this little indicator at the top left saying our map is updated, so let's take a look at that. Monster World. Cool. I like the music, too. It's very cute. Um... I did this just like five hours ago. Um... Oh, I think it, yeah, I think we have to go ahead here. Oh. Heavy boots, yes, that's it. So the way these boots work is um, you can equip them like this, and that will enable you to sink in water, like down below there. But first we're going to help out this guy. This guy that's stuck in a barrel. Unless some fresh air. Thanks, Mr. Blue Hair. Are you alright? I'm sorry, it looks like my uncle also transformed you into a monster. What? No, I'm, I'm a Papilagoo. I'm not a monster. Is your uncle that crazy flying guy? When I asked him about a green-haired girl I'm looking for, he just kicked me into the barrel and laughed. I've got to find her. See ya. Watch it. You almost got us turned into ashes. Uh-oh. That wasn't there before. Please tell me you have a shield to repel fire. Give me a minute. I'll find something to get rid of this creature. You bought heavy boots. Yeah, that might be enough to, sp to explore what's hiding down there. Alright, we know where we have to go now. And we should be able to breathe uh, using these oxygen bubbles. But look at this, look. Look at the light on my character's hair. Isn't that such a nice little detail? <laughs> the crab looks... or it looks so happy. Oh! So these guys can spit ink. I drowned. Well, I haven't seen that before. Alright, let's make sure to breathe. There we go. Okay, I think we'll do better this time. Breathe. There we go. And bounce. Here we are. And inside this chest is the shield that he was talking about. This shield is so smooth and polished that it can reflect fireballs back toward enemies. Let's breathe. Good. Hey! Okay. I have the shield. Check this out. See that? Yeah! Oh, 
it's Uncle Nabu again. Uh, how do I hit him? Nice work! That uncle of yours sure is causing trouble. Here's a gift I'd like you to have. You look like someone who could use it. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> I remember this. Thanks. But what is this thing? It's a magic fire truffle, of course. I found it in the barrel I was stuck in. You have to eat it. Uh. Eat it? But this truffle thing looks kind of cute. Trust me, they want to be eaten. That's why they taste as sweet as they look. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's how it works. I guess it is how it works in this game. What? What is going on there? See, now you can cast fire spells. Sadly, they don't work on Papelagoos. Awesome! I need to find more of these magic truffles. Yes, you do that. Well, I'm leaving now. If you meet a girl with green hair, tell her I'll find her soon. Goodbye, Mr. Blue Hair! Super Fire Truffle. Your fiery powers have awoken. Press Y to shoot fireballs that burn enemies and certain obstacles. Find more truffles to carry extra fireballs. Okay. Oh, I think the glitch got fixed on its own. That was odd. So we can burn down this foliage now. And make our way toward this open area. Checkpoint. So we've got to get back there, into the background. And I think there's like a switch we have to pull. Aha! I think this is the right way. Oh, I'm out of fire. I love this part of the song. See, this is just such a happy little game. I can't not like this game. Hey, we got some fire. Okay. Let's go in here. <laughs> Jump scared me. I'll check this out. There's a part that's like this in Super Paper Mario as well. Um, okay. Got some, lots of money here. Boing! And we're back. Look at this little run animation. Okay. So I think we're approaching human settlement. Um. Ah, right, yes. This is the magic shop. Uh, let's go ahead and top off our fireballs. And we will use them here. Oh, what's up here? Hey! I think that was a secret. <laughs> I must use them all up. I 
I've never quite seen somebody swim like this. But if it works, it works. Oh. oh, that one's actually helpful. There we go. <laughs> ah, that was my fault. See what this is. What's this? Oh, a moving platform. All right, and we are at the doctor's office. Checkpoint. Wait for me! Uncle Naboo is inside. Let's be careful. He was summoning monsters on the way. I told you, he's gone crazy! There he is! What do you brats want? If it's my wand you're after, you can forget it! I think it's time you hand that thing over, Uncle. You've caused enough trouble already. Where'd you find it anyways? None of your business. I'm gonna make you regret following me. But first... Yeah. Empty already? Gotta find more royal nectar. Stay out of my way if you don't want to see my true powers. What? What? What is this guy up to? Like, why is he doing all this? Whoa! That wand is no joke. Okay, giant squid. Now, the first time around, I did miserably in this fight. This is probably going to end up the same way. Or, you know, maybe I'll do pretty good. I think I might actually win this. Uh, maybe not. Please, please give me some life, please. Some life. Would very much appreciate some life. Ooh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor gave me medicine. What's this? Oh. Yes! First try! Oh boy. Oh boy.
How did I end up in the sewers? Ah! I'm a pig! And with one eye, no less. Now I'm too fat to use my armor and gear. Smell down here. It's wonderful. At least this powerful snout can help me smell my way out of here. This guy really knows how to look on the bright side of things. Also, my character is now really, like... How would you describe this? So let's sniff out a way. There we go. Checkpoint. Is this poison water? Rainbow Drop. Made of a special magical substance, it has an oddly irresistible smell and is essential for Loot Masters. Loot Masters? Is that what I am? Oh. So... I guess we don't need heavy boots anymore. Um, you know what? I don't, I don't need whatever, whatever this is, because, uh, I, I, I can do things like this. See? I figured something out earlier. You can actually increase your jump height by bouncing on creatures, but, uh, I don't think, you know what, never mind. <laughs> These guys have reach. Green key. Green sewer key. This key should open a locked door somewhere in the sewers. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh! Oh, right, 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 right. This takes us up here, and here is the green key door. Ah, this is a nice little serene area. Of course, I do already know what this is, but when I first came into this room, it looked to me like it was going to be a boss area. Uh, it's actually just a very atmospheric power-up area. So when you sniff, this thing comes out, and guess what? It's a truffle. That definitely wants to be eaten. You can now carry more fireballs. Extra firepower means more enemies running away from your scorching wrath. Wonderful. So let's go try this out. We can be a little less frugal with these. Checkpoint! Oh wait, what is this? Oh, it's a, that's a magic shop. Might as well buy a fireball. Just so we're up to ten. Oh, 
Oh. Let's do this, and there we go. That place up there looks like it probably has a secret. I don't remember if we actually get up there the normal way. Maybe we do. I think it's like this, right? Yes. Oh. Let's follow the ghost. We ascend to floor number three, and we've got here a door to the village of Lupia. That sounds like a... I would guess that it's a werewolf village, because, uh, Lupia, but maybe it's not. Zeke? Excuse me, Mr. Pick, have you seen a blue-haired boy down here? Uh, Zeke, it's me, Jen. Jen? Are you aware that you're a pig? Of course! Look at how huge my belly is! So I'm a cool dragon, and you're a smelly oinker. That's pretty funny. Let's just get out of here and find Uncle Naboo so we can fix this. Get out here! It's easy to get lost down here, but I know the way. Come on. Oh, do you, Zeke? Wait up! So that arrow says we do indeed go to the right. And this time we go up. And this time we go down. And this time we go down to the left. Hello, Mr. Ghost. What is that ghost all about, I wonder? Whoa! I never got this before. It belongs to a musician named Ollie. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, this is the doctor. Oh, we, we don't actually need anything, do we? Let's get another elixir. Thank you. Um... I believe we have to... Track them like this, and then yes. That's not. It didn't work how I thought it would. Alright, come on, over here. Good. We need fire. There we go. Get some more. Over here, come on, come on. Come on. Yep. 
Nope. Okay. Need more fire, and I think this next cycle might be it. <laughs> what? what the heck? Okay. Over here. Yep. Oh! Um. No! Yes! Yes! Oh, we're out of fire. That was a very clumsy execution. So what we want to do is we want to attract them like that. Then, oh, come on. Good. And we beat him. I don't envy the fate of whoever this is. Maybe that's the guy who scrawled the uh, message there. Uh, this key should open a locked door located somewhere in the sewers. Uh, that ghost went down just now. Should I follow? I think maybe I should. I didn't last time, but I'm curious now. Hello? Oh. Oh, that's great. Okay, we've got some extra parts now. This is wonderful. And we have the key to go to the village of Lupia. Can't say I will miss this sewer. Good, 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 good. Um, this. <laughs> I remember this part being a real pain earlier. That wasn't too bad. Bro, what took you so long? I thought you were right behind me. Well, unlike you, I can't fly. And did you forget I'm carrying some extra weight? Right. Sorry. Lupia Village is just up ahead. By the way, everyone in town can't wait to see your new form. I couldn't resist telling them. Oh. Gee, thanks, Zeke. Uh, what's in here? Don't know. And here we are. <laughs> here we are in Lupia. Jen, look. I've always wanted to see a penguin. Is that the Royal Guard? I guess even they got transformed. <laughs> this game is just too cute. As the, as the king's royal counselor, I'm placing you under arrest for helping, the un for helping your uncle ruin our kingdom. What? We didn't help him. In fact, he turned us into creatures too. Then why are you here? You two look very suspicious right now. We came to see if anyone knows how to restore us back to normal, including our uncle. Uncle Nabu may be a bit, well, dim-witted, but he'd never hurt anyone. That's right. 
He must be under an evil spell or something. Hmm. If you wish to clean up your uncle's mess, then I will not arrest you. In fact, I may be of help. According to the Royal Archives, this isn't the first curse to befall our beloved kingdom. Legends speak of a group of sacred orbs that were used in the past to expel evil and keep our citizens safe. If only we had them all. But alas, only a brave soul would ever consider going on such a quest. I can find the orbs, just tell us where they are. What a noble lad! I'm getting weird vibes from this guy. I didn't earlier today, like when I was doing this section, but something feels off about him. In that case, I'll study the archives to learn the location of each orb. In the meantime, go search the misty woods located west of here. I have a feeling one of the orbs resides there. I doubt you'll stand a chance in your current forms, but good luck. You'll see, I'll find the orbs even, in, even if it means exploring the most dangerous places in the kingdom. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of this curse and make things right. I sure hope those orbs exist. Then I suggest you do so before we capture Naboo. The king has scheduled an important meeting for him with the castle executioner. <laughs> Better hurry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't kill our uncle, please. You've got this, Jen. I'll keep flying up above. I'll keep flying above to search for clues and stuff. Catch up with you later. All right. Here we are. And here we are in the village of Lupia. Um, this is to the west, the place we were just at. And it looks like they've got some kind of cathedral here, I'm guessing. Castle is this way. We're not going there just yet. We've actually reached the point at which uh, I stopped recording earlier. So we're all caught up. Um, this guy. Oh, but look at all these little people. Hi, Mr. Ollie. I see you weren't spared by the curse either. Oh, it doesn't bother me much. I just wish I still had my music sheets. Oh! This is, uh... This is the Ollie that was mentioned in the description of that other item. Sheets? Yeah, could this be what you lost? Oh my! That's one of them! Thank you so much, Jin. Great. I really appreciate your help. Twenty music sheets are still missing. Please keep looking for them. I'm counting on you. Let's see in detail what you've got so far. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. So I guess when I get all three in each of these little groups, I can play a sound or something? I don't know. But look at all the, the cute little characters here. <laughs> I want to explore the misty woods, but now it's too dangerous. Someone said they saw a mushroom as big as a tree in there. Well, this is a, this is a place called the White Tower. We've got the castle all the way to the right, way over there. And then we got this, the White Tower. And then, ooh, the windmill. Okay, well, I'm going to save this for later. Look at that guy up in the corner. And, yes, we have an inn. I can go here to spend the night and heal up. And this also saves the game. And that right there, I believe, is where I will leave it for today. 
For those that stuck through this video, I hope it's a, an interesting change of pace. Uh, if you enjoyed it, and if you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. This is exactly the kind of cute adventure game that I was hoping it would be. The reason I bought this game is because I thought it was going to be really cute. And it is. It's very cute. Did something change? I, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, so that'll do it for this episode. And here's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and strive for one video a week. I think that'll be a good pace to get me back in the swing of things. <laughs> and you all can leave your comments about how I haven't uploaded since October. Yeah, feel free. I, it makes me stronger. But yeah, next episode should be in about a week. So if this is your thing, stick around. This, uh, I, li I like this format a lot better than the other videos. I guess that'll do it for this time. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!